banjo music kind of hitting though. This is hand warmers, no? This slightly larger field of battle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Grand Finals! Laxel versus Consistent Failure. So, uh, Pachinko, I wasn't here for the first one. Uh, how did this bat go uh, the first time? So, uh, Alaxel versus CF? Yeah. So, Alaxel, it was a reverse 3 0 and CF won. Mm, my word. Okay, well, so, let's see if those adaptations from CF uh, stay. Strong. Yeah, no, CF kind of got the download. Yeah, once once, once you get the download, I mean, like, because, like, uh, if you remember when we were talking on Friday about how, like, the carp, the carp Alaxel meta is all about downloads, about right. who develops the first counter strat next, looks like CF is kind of just three steps ahead yeah. in terms of that download game then. Especially with Snake, if you get the download, because Snake is just devastating. That like, up tilt punish, like, yeah. The parry up tilt is just uh, immaculate in terms of uh, being able to being able to uh, like kill really early end with a consistent uh, rate. I like that. CF knowing not to knowing not to try to recover low because yeah. that's where Snake really struggles against Lucas, like specifically because Lucas has down smash and PK freeze with Snake's slow recovery. It's been much more effective to kind of. Um, to recover extremely high and then mm -hmm. drift down maybe like a B reverse grenade. Do you know what's you know what's surprising me? Um Lucas can down B and absorb the grenade. Yeah. And get percent. That I think is a major game changer. Oh yeah, no. That's especially if um we uh we we saw in their first set CF managed to get a C four stick mm. on, on a Laxel. And Alaxel was just like, he was just trying to stay in down B because he didn't know uh, yeah, he was yeah. going to detonate. I see. But also, let's see. 75% is, I would say, strong for a usual opponent of CF, but with Alaxel, I feel like that 75% is going to fade really quickly if CF can't get like a kill option out and really, really get some pressure out. But Yeah, and there, there it goes. <laughs> wow. A barrage of Even attacks, game. and Alaxel gains percent lead here. Yeah, but that a C4 might score. change the game here. Oh, doesn't get the grab. CF has gotten a couple of those beer verse uh, C4s where he kind of drops it off and yeah. beer verses away. I have to say, the one strategy that I think will not be working in this situation is uh, the random F smash that Alaxel loves to do. Yeah. Just because CF is a very much more patient player that's able to kind of just wait out those moments. Right. Actually, baiting out the down B with the grenade just there. And that's going to be. Gets it with the dash attack. Alexa on last stock here. Oh. CF's movement is just insanely good. Oh yeah. 
for those who watched previous uh, weeklies and have seen CF's name before, but maybe not in Grand Finals. This is the power of in-person consistent failure. You haven't seen consistent failure until you've seen him in person. Until you've seen him in the flesh. Spot dodge the grab. Flesh. Just like, ugh. Already has parts of the download. That grenade saved his life. Yeah. That grenade saved his life. That was up throw and death just there. Oh, and that's that. 74% same kind of percent lead able right. to get, which is, I think, really valuable. We saw we saw last time uh, Consistent Failure was able to take it to the bank, but let's see uh, if uh, he can close it out for this game one. Oh, yes, the grenade hitbox. Getting that nice splash damage off. Oh, has the read. I like that read. Dash Off attack of... actually propelling him past the PK Thunder. I mean, PK oh. Thunder, PK Ice, or... But the, but the scoops. PK Freeze. And consistent failure is going to take that game one. So with FD banned, where do you think uh, the stage is going to go? I think... I think, yeah, I was going to say either Pokemon Stadium or Kalos. Because, I don't know, bo both these characters kind of thrive off of big stages. Yeah, they want a big field to run around on. Yeah. I would imagine Lucas would do better on smaller stages, though. Yeah. So, I I'm actually a little bit surprised about the Pokemon I think PS2 is a good now. modest compromise between big and small. Yeah. Slowing down the play here. I, I'm, I'm liking it. I think when you are in this kind of loser's position, sometimes as much as it, much as you're really nervous about it, you just need to slow down your play. Right. Because as we're saying, what, what CF got a reverse 3-0. Yeah. That means CF a download, a critical three. download came in, like the like the driver that like fixes your entire computer came in at that moment. Right. Exactly. Alaxel needs to have one of those moments right now. CF updated his drivers. Yeah. And sometimes when you slow down your gameplay, you can see a lot more habits right. that you're expecting. I'm liking a little more of this neutral from Alaxel. But that was CF a little risky with that, that attack. See if using that B reverse grenade to come down and try to uh, trip up Alaxel a little, little bit. It's not only the B reverse grenade, but also the B, B reverse grenade release. Right, yeah. Where, like, he ain't holding on to it, he's just like, kind of pivoted and dropping it. So, we got a fairly even game here. We know Snake can close this stock extremely quick. Yeah, there we go. Died at 82, I think. Yeah, another problem you're seeing here is just CF being the heavier character. Yeah. Just, Lucas can't close it out if, if CF knows what to avoid at the percents. Quick 60 from CF. Oh, Ooh, the condition. The wait. He's like, all right, let me just beat this kid. Now wait, oh, wait a second. Let me beat him again. <laughs> oh, doesn't no, get the punish there. A little bit of nerves. A little bit of nerves. But that's that's okay. Because CF has the down. stock lead. Yeah. He's just bringing this to the bank. It's also fairly even for sense. Yeah, mm. that's going to be it. This CF is... taking this fairly commanding game so far. This is reminding me of CF's earlier games, where like he would just take the third stock and just run with it. Yeah. But Alaxel gets that stock. It's a full stock lead here. It depends on if Alaxel can really get something going. Oh no! Oh, spaghetti? I think CF's okay. Oh yeah, yeah. no. He, he, gets, he gets another Cypher, which is good. Ooh. Oh, waiting, waiting. You see that waiting? Because he knows that Alaxel likes to hide in shield. So yeah. he's like, I'm just going to wait until he tries an option. I'm just going to wait here and just react. Guess, uh... Now see, as a, as a Controlling Lucas... Controlling stage with C4. Oh yeah. As a, as a Lucas amateur, one thing I really enjoy about Lucas's moveset is that the down B has a shine hitbox. Right, yeah. Now we've, my... we've, we've actually seen that a couple times where... Um... Really? Okay. Where Alaxel has um, absorbed it and has absorbed something, and the opponent just runs in, and Alaxel gets the hitbox on. Okay, because I'm like, it feels like kind of like an absorbing fox shine, but maybe my amateur brain doesn't comprehend that it can it, it can't be used that much. Yeah. But anyway, as we're talking, Alaxel rallying back, nine, uh, only 75 percent. 
but now 90 stocks now yeah. coming back from a three stock deficit but CF at the ledge is almost more oppressive than a laxel at the ledge Ooh, that, CF that beam just moving around him just keeps you guessing oh but gets a good grenade that's that's some yeah, that's valuable actually percent. looking for a down tilt oh. the crawl to, to hide against the grab doesn't get the up tilt but it's at that percent. We know that a grab is going to be a high percent chance of death. I liked that PK freeze, but it just didn't work. Good dash attack. CF come with the ledge trapping up smashes. It's so funny when Snake just moves and drops off the grenade and just yeah. runs away. <laughs> I think what we're seeing here is a little bit of Snake arthritis here. Can't really close it out, and, and Alaxel's just hitting him with pot shots. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a mage in D and D just throwing all the spells. What? What? Oh yeah, no the the, the baseball what bat perspective property, but I'm I, Alaxel pulling out every stop here trying to get this game to, Ooh, and we're seeing him dangerous. bring it back inch by inch here, with the recovery mix up actually dropping, dropping out of his propeller, much lower than he usually does. That. Oh my CF God. going up 2-0. My word, that was, a, that was a lot closer of a game two than it was game one. Yeah. We thought Alaxa CF almost got run with it. Restock. Rally's back. Yeah. Let's see here. Um. So PS2 doesn't seem to be the answer. Going to Kalos. Now, so you lose those... If anything, I think this might help. This definitely helps Alexel. Yeah, I think that. I think so. Not having the C4 on set, like by stage, but like the platforms now just by ledge. Yeah. You're you're valuing the the, the ledges more for their recovery potential than like planning a C4 there. Plus, C4 can't hit from under platform anymore, really. God bless. God. <laughs> God bless. It's less of where C4 the mini game and more just uh, some CQC. Just going for the raw dash attack to start the game off. There's a real Chad move nice from, damage. from consistent failure there. But I think we're going to be seeing a lot more brawling right there. Oh, gets a down B for his troubles. Going for the read. Oh my god. Oh, read for a read. We love when America can read. <laughs> Crawls. Ooh, good down air. Hopefully, trying to get a Nikita. Oh, uh, 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 the Nikita just down. a little too late there. Yeah. Ooh, get the sweet spot fair. Game a lot closer than you'd expect. Oh, this is looking like a read moment. Oh! Doesn't ops not for the up tilt, but rather for the fair. Because yeah, then he gets the Nikita chase goal. around. Yeah. Would you say that the B reverse in nature is what's really helping consistent failures game, or is it really just because snake reverse B is really good? I think I think generally people get very tripped up by by B reverse grenade. No. Like, a lot of people get, like, their ankles broken by it. <laughs> yeah. They just, like, dash past, and C uh, CF just ends up on the other side of the stage. Something to note just about that, that previous interaction. I think Alaxel got the spike, but then, because of Kalos, Consistent Failure was able to tech out of it, so... Yeah. The clutch save there. But, as we're seeing again, this is... This is prime Consistent Failure. Third stock at 150, just trying to run this all the way. Already at 100. This is an up tilt, and it's a sealed deal. Gets a Ooh, fair first trouble. Up tilt right there, but he gets the ops for the F tilt. Uh, just a little That's too, it. little yeah. too far for the for the down smash. But Alaxel on his tournament stock. This is gonna be a need a rally. He's gonna really need a rally right now. Yeah, he's gonna need to pull out, pull out all the stops here. Gets that really good damage with the Nair to the guaranteed dash attack. CF making do with the platform on the ledge, trying to get that insane hitbox with the C4.
Oh, get CF going for the I big think see, I think we see Luke in chat saying that this is a wash. I mean, what are you going to expect from the number one PR for for both the fall, spring, and spring 2019? Yeah. This is a perennial Oberlin champion coming against Youngblood. Oh. And no! Yeah, I hate to see that, folks. That's going to be a death. I hate to see it. And ladies and gentlemen, your handshake. winner of the spooky brawl at Wilder Hall is none other than Consistent Failure. James Damn. Dryden is a third year theater major from Durham, North Carolina. <laughs> Fourth year. Right, the, I mean, me I the meme is from third year. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, congratulations to Consistent Failure. It is getting late, probably a lot later than I projected this tournament to go. Yeah. But, um, it's 7. I thought that said like 17. No, it's 7. But, to everyone that's watching, thank y'all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Oberlin Smash events. You can, this VOD will probably be uploaded to our YouTube. Uh, we have a Discord, and we have a website to, uh, you know, uh, keep everyone posted on all these events. Uh, look out for that. Uh, if you're interested in other games, the Discord is a great place to look for other people in the Overland community that play other games. We have a league team, if that's any interest to you. But anyways, this was uh, P-Way. And the shout-outs to Pachinko for Thanks holding guys. down commentary for, for a while. Shout-outs to Alaxel. Shout-outs to everyone who came out today. Uh, this is uh, Overland Smash signing off.